what up folks we back cat simulator that's the intro and we are trying to make our way up to uh what's his name nomo or momo's crib whatever that man's name is so uh i think it started us back over right here when they was throwing paint so we're gonna skip past this we're gonna skip past this okay i'm trying to figure out how to get up to old boy's spot we jump down here get up there gear up can we jump across Yup, I think I did that last time anyway. What up, homeboy? Talk to me, talk to me, tell me something good. Please don't bother the poor, she's so clumsy. Gotcha, gotcha. How about I just knock all these shites off of here? Bit my dead gum tongue, it hurt too. I ain't gonna go all wild crazy. Hey, bite your tongue is one of the most annoying things ever. It's so stupid, it's so freaking stupid. Like, why am I biting my tongue? It's dumb. Okay, so what is this bucket here for? What is that? What is the point of that? See if it takes us down somewhere important. It probably don't. I doubt it does. It ain't taking me where I need to go, so it can't be that important. Let me see. Go up here. Get up. Get up there remember okay a little memory okay i'm glad i came over here it looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level yes i remember midtown is up there away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums he tried to get away from these bums down here even in dire times humans could not help but divide themselves by social class sad humans are ridiculous Back then, a lot of people from the slums uh, were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copied this behavior. Uh, I'm assuming because uh, human brains are probably in these robots. That's what I'm suspecting. That is what I'm suspecting. Now, how do we get back over there is the question. Looks like something over... Oh, oh boy, I thought I fell. Thought I fell down off the building or something. Okay. Can we go up here? No, he can only jump down. Oh, there we go. Jump up there. Uh-huh. Let's see what's up in here. Is this where I came from? I think this may be where I had came from. Possibly. Oh, it's a whole family of robots. Isn't that cute? Tearing up their shite in their kitchen and everything. Okay, I don't... I don't think this is where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Hey, what up, homeboy? You want to help me out? Help you, bud? You do look uh, a little like a Zerk from far away, at least. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things shoot through metal. They're terrifying. Item. Postcard. Show item. Oh, is that the outside that Momo keeps talking about? Uh, Maybe. Translate. Barterman. Super Spirit Laundry Grandma Clothing Elliot Programming. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be important to me. So, uh, what's over here? Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. Well, you're useless to me. Oh, remember. Okay, what we got here? Another memory? I like it. I'm finding all the memories. Remarkable. Campaigns have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely intimidate or intimidated, imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Humans often, uh, humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. All right, okay. At least I'm racking up memories. I ain't getting to where I'm supposed to be, but I mean, we getting memories. I'll take it, I guess. Okay, I feel like this is probably the way I should go. Maybe, maybe there's another way. Okay, let's try. Ooh, can we go in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me in this hole. Nigga, <laughs> scratch it on the door. Are you one of the troublemakers playing with the paint buckets on the roof? Run away! Keep your paint away. I'm tired of cleaning my stoop because of your mess. All right, well, f you too, you bastard. Okay. Well, this is taking me all f and day. Maybe hop up here. There we go. 
Gear up. Height. There we go. Now we in this bit. Hop in that window right there. Yeah, there we go. We in this bit. Hey, yo. Uh, Momo or no mo? What the hell the hell your name is? Talk to me, cuz. How do I get outside? Oh, him sad. <laughs> Look at the little robot in my backpack. <laughs> I don't know why that would look ridiculous to me. Hey, before we talk to him, let's ransack his house. Let's see what he got up in here. See if we can call some hijinks, some ruckus. Knock some stuff over. What's this? I got the pa uh, paper bag on my head. All right, well, we're just going to walk around. Okay. Well, because I can't see now, everything is like in the reverse. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> you can shook it off. What you got in your fridge, homie? Got some tuna in here. I don't look like he got nothing in here, but robot liquor. liquor. Hey, bro, let me holler at you. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you, what do you want? You can change this tune real quick. Uh, Take a look at this postcard, homie. This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Uh, Yes, sir, I do. Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. I can tell by that sad and angry look on your face. <laughs> My friends had this dream, too. But now they're gone, and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact him, but that motherfucker transceiver doesn't work. I'm going to just assume he said a cuss word right there. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go there. Okay, we'll take that. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Well, he was useless. Momo sees very sad. What gave it away? Maybe it was his face. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsiders Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It is signed Clementine Zabalistatessarazar. <laughs> Zabaltazar. Zabaltazar. Is it Zabaltazar or is that Z silent? Baltazar, whatever. Doc and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. He put his name last. I think we should find the other notebooks. Okay. Um, is that really necessary? Is it necessary? That's all you got to say to us, Momo? Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? That's my notebook. I was the last to join the Outsiders. I'm also the last remaining one. Oh, that sucks. Oh, look at that. Okay. Back home too. Oh, back home too. I remember this video. Oh, it's a video game. Uh, it was just made after I was created. I think I can't remember well. The scientists and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Oh, why can't I remember him name? All right. Okay, we got some good memories. All right. Well, uh, we out of here, Momo. You were useless. Thanks for nothing, you basta. This symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. That symbol. Gotcha. Is that where we need to go? That seems like a lead. All right, well, let's make it. Jump down there. There you go. Get on up. Uh-huh. Get up. Gear up. Up there. There you go. Get up there. Get up there. In there. Okay. Can we go up? Yep, there we go. Bunch of dirty clothes right here. Why robots need clothes? Cover up what? Ah, here we go. What we got here? Clementine's notebook. Hey, let's go. An outsider notebook. It's the same logo as the uh, one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to uh, old Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in play in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. Mm, sounds ominous. Okay. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Yeah, I think uh, what y'all voted on to call the cat was mittens. Uh, yeah, I think it was mittens. So we just gonna rock with mittens. 
Uh, okay. You know what? I think I can go down in there. Let me see. Let me take this real quick. Uh huh. Stop that AC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go down in here. Why do I feel like I've been in here before, though? Okay, maybe I haven't been in here. What you got up there for me? Nothing. Ain't a damn thing in here. Thought I had something. Scratch on that. Scratch on that. Alright, ain't a feather mucking thing in here. Ah, there we go. There it is right there. Got the third notebook. Okay. Nice uh, work. Another notebook. This one seems to belong to Baltazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. Okay. Okay, so I think the last one probably is in that library. And that is what we were supposed to find last episode, but I had no idea because I hadn't found Mr. Momo yet. So let's go back to the library. See what we got up in this bed. Hup. Get up in there. I already got the key to the safe. So let's see if it's under some of these damn books. There's books all over the place. We just gonna knock them all over. F it. We gonna knock them all over. How the devil? Okay, we already read that. We already read that. More sheet music. We'll take it. Come on, knock these books over too. Knock them all over. Anything up under there? No. <laughs> the muscles just bouncing around. Anything up here? Mm -hmm. What we got? What we got? Is that it right there? Yup, right there. Move all this shite out the way. Use them keys. Uh huh. Hey, why you got the little cat thing? <laughs> Let's see what we got. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh, there's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the quotation or equation. Quotation, where the hell? With this, we should be able uh, to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. All right, bet. Let's do it. Oh, it belonged to Doc. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He always on the verge of a great discovery. Okay. This is Zalbaltazar's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. <laughs> gotcha. What about, wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Uh, It wasn't that hard. Momo, yo, lazy ass. Oh, what's the note? The transceiver can't be repaired? This is incredible. This means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine, Zabaltazas are. Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find your way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. All right, cool. We making some progress. Need some water though, dead gummit. What that say? Et voila! Et voila! It vix. <laughs> Come with me. All right, got you. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> nah, I think I want to play for a little while. I want to play. I'm just a little kitten. I'm just a little kitten. Up there. See that building? How above the others? No, I don't see it, actually. If you install the transceiver at the uh, very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. Gain new item, transceiver. You're the only one small, quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. 
after I play. Just a little kitten. Just want to play around a little bit. Oh, Yarny right here. Enough. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Knock over this fool's bucks. Okay, what? Is he talking about that tower way up there? Is that what he... With the crane? Is that is that what he's talking about? Okay, uh, I guess that's 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 where we have to go. <laughs> we gotta get way up there. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Alright, we got this. It's gonna be easy. Me and you, mittens. Look, it's arrows leading us and everything. We got this, mittens. Although that music sounded kind of ominous. Look at them little nasty ass little monster things over there. It's cool. We've outrun them before, Mittens. We're going to do it again. You got this, homeboy. Go, 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 go. Run, Mittens. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't want to attract them that much. Get off me. Get off me. They're trying to suck my cat brains out. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Hurry up. Hurry up. There you go. There you go, Mittens. I got you, homie. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, y'all ain't about to catch me up. Not today. Get up there. Uh-huh, there we go. I got you, mittens. Jump up. There you go. Now, where we go from Oh, okay, right here. I was about to say, I don't know where to take you from here, sir. Get on up there. What'd that say? Translate that, homie. Oh, that's a memory. Okay. This city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over the house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope not long after. Everyone started putting lots of lights in their home. There was nothing the oppressor could do. Who the hell is the oppressor? It was a way for people to see coolers again. Like on the outside, I think it helped. Okay. Well, show us a lot of memories. I don't think this is the way I was supposed to go. I just came up here for a memory, but we can go this way. <laughs> just take me all the way across. You can't. Okay, fine, fine. Wait a minute. Hey, there you go. Take me across, good plan. This music is hella soothing. There you go. Take that over there. Get that bucket over there. You know what time it is. There you go, mittens. There you go, buddy. There you go, little mittens. You got it. Get on up there with your punk ass. Mm-hmm. Get on across here. Okay. Oh, see, we close, man. This is easy. This is real quick. Real light work right here. Jump up. Gone across. Uh-huh. Maybe we should investigate what's up there. Can we? Can we get up there? I don't think we can. Okay. Look, I didn't even look long. Just kept going for real. Oh, you making all kinds of noise, man. Don't lead them, uh, what are they? Jerks? Is that what they call them? Look, here they come, too. Here they little ugly asses come. What are these things? Oh, they're ugly. Look at them. They look like grubs. Grub worms. Oh, there go a little baby one. Oh, these some nasty ass looking little things. All right, go, go, go. Get up there, get up there before they find you and see you and hear you. Oh God, no. Oh God, no. Oh God. They're everywhere. Get off me. Oh, they really are trying to eat my brain meat. Oh, get off me. Get your punk ass. Get off me. Oh my God, my blood is getting sucked out of my brain. Jump mittens. Jump mittens. Oh my God, thank you. Well then, uh, we're back. I was traumatized a little bit from mittens getting his brain sucked out of his ears. It's pretty disgusting. Pack door. Oh, I could trap their asses in there. Or can I? Wait a minute here. 
<laughs> Make it pop me. You dumb bastards. <laughs> you can't do anything about it. <laughs> I wish I had known that before I, you know what I mean? Got my brain sucked out. All right, well, we're here now. Get up there. We got this. Ugh, it's this nasty shite they leaving behind, all this goop. Get on there, uh-huh. Jump down, possibly, maybe. Are they asleep? These little, uh, zerk eggs? Here, jump back on there, guy. Jump up, there you go. Mm-hmm, move that on across. Quit playing, quit playing, mittens. You know what time it is. This look like a nesting spot for those nasty bastards. Listen to that music. There's gotta be. Gotta be a nesting spot for these nasty hoes. This is disgusting. Oh, look out, look at them. It's a bunch of them. Okay, yeah, we gonna have to haul ass through here. Hey, don't step on their eggs, mittens. Don't step on their eggs, mittens. Oh shoot, you done made too much noise. Go, get out of there, run. Oh, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good. Are oh, they coming over here? Oh, these little niggas is nasty. They don't mess around, do they? Don't you jump up here, you little fruitcakes. Don't y'all jump up here. Go, Mittens, run. Go for the glory, Mittens. Go, go, get up there. There you go, there you go, Mittens. I ain't gonna let you die again. I got you, buddy. I got you. Where they at? I know they up here. Oh, okay, we good. Nah, man, we straight. We good, Mittens. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Ugh, it's a bunch of them. And I hate the noise they making. Even that noise they making is disgusting. What's this? Remember! What'd this say? Neko Core. They were responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it. Huh. Okay. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. Interesting. That is very, very interesting. Okay. The plot thickens. Um, I'm assuming I need to get through there. Yeah, I'm assuming I need to get through there. We're going to put the shakes on these nasty whores. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Back up off me. You idiots. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Get up there. No, get up there. There you go. Where they at? Oh, they right there. Don't matter. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh my God, it just took me around into a circle. Okay. Get in there. Oh, I crushed it. <laughs> Disgusting. Maybe I took this the wrong. Wait a minute, no, they look right. Get up there. There you go. We in there, here we go. Ugh. Oh my God, it's a bunch of them. <laughs> they falling off, morons. <laughs> them things must not be too smart. Get up there. Oh, we good, we good. Okay, there we go. Oh, we going way, way up there. Okay, we got this, mittens. We good, cuh. Uh, how in the hell do we get up there? And I find it interesting that they use a cat as the protagonist to do this. I find that very interesting. Lever. Got this. Let's go. Oh, they came from beef. They came from beef. And they came from cat. They came from cat. Oh, put the shakes on them. Oh, back them off me. Get off me, get off me. This mode would be taking forever and a day to get down here. 
Hey, these little monsters is quick, man. And they got hops. I'm gonna just keep running around in a circle. Oh my god. Hey, these mugs are serious. Back up off me. Back up off me. Look at that one sitting right there waiting for your bug. Damn, he just exploded. Get up there, mittens. There you go, mittens. They can't jump as high as you, son. They can't jump as high as you. They kind of look like they trying, though. Oh, wait a minute. Nah, them little niggas do got hops. Or oh, they just falling off. What the? It's raining monsters. Disgusting. Look at that one hanging right there. He glowing, too. Look at that. He waiting for me to come out. This is disgusting. It's so disgusting. Look at his punk ass waiting for me. Look at him. Ew, what is he doing? It's pulsating. It's disgusting. Oh, well, we good. We in there. Let's go. Hey, here it is. Put the transceiver onto this antenna. Got you. I got you. I got you. Use item. Transceiver. Light work for your boy mittens. And they keep saying up there. Where are the humans when they say up there? Or are we just are the humans just outside of this uh this wall right here? <clears throat> Lit that whole thing up. Look at Mittens, man. So much resolve Mittens has. I might start liking cats after this. That's a lie. I still won't like cats after this. Look, the view is beautiful from here. I remember now. The city. It was meant to be a shelter. Okay. A shelter from... Those look like stars. But there are only uh, lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Wait, what? <coughs> Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Roof? What are we in? Some kind of dome or something? Humankind built the shell to protect themselves from the outside. But it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. What the hell didn't happen? <clears throat> but if you come from there, it must be it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. Interesting. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. So if we had a bucket that went all the way up here, why could we not just take the bucket up? Why did we have to go through all of that? Where there was a bucket that could have just took us to the damn top. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The slums part two. All right, folks, that is where we're going to end this episode of Stray. Uh, the plot is thickening and the story is getting even more intriguing. So stay tuned for the next episode. As always, thank y'all for stopping by. Checking your boy Puss and Boots out, man. Don't forget to hit that like button for me and Mittens. And I'll see y'all in the next video about this piece. Deuces. What this say, though? What that say right there? Outsiders. Okay. Deuces. <laughs>